Hi everyone and welcome. Um, I've been asked to put together some uh, basic uh, audiovisual tutorial videos on how uh, to do just the basics in, in audiovisual. So anybody who's interested in learning how to become an audiovisual technician, uh, if it's something you don't know how to do and you need it to help you with your job or in your church or anything like that, um, that's what these videos are designed to do. So today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the proper way of coiling cable um, uh, once an event is done or once you're striking all your cables. Um, the, the method's called under over and it's really the only uh, appropriate way of coiling any cable, either uh, XLR cable, uh, quarter inch cable, extension cords, anything like that, that all needs to be coiled the exact same way. Uh, I've seen people actually uh, coil cable like this, which is not the proper way to do it. It actually will damage your cable. Uh, I've seen people just kind of coil it like this and throw it down. Again, that's not the appropriate way of doing it either. So what we're going to do is the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take an end of the cable. Go ahead and put that in your hand. Doesn't matter which end it is. Uh, and then we're going, and it also doesn't matter if it's if you're right or left handed either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my left hand and I'm going to make just a regular coil. Okay, nice and neat. Um, you may have to twist it with your fingers a little bit to kind of make a nice little kind of an oval circle there. Um, but then what we're going to do is, is if you notice I've got my coil done here, the tail going the rest of my coil is actually on the outside of that. Um, so this is called the over portion of this, of this method. Then we're going to actually flip the coil underneath itself. So we're going to pull it up underneath itself and make another coil. Uh, and if you notice now the tail is actually behind the coil we just made. So it's actually kind of sandwiched between the co two coils. That's called under. Then we're going to make another regular loop, which is over. Notice my tail is on the outside. Then we're going to come under and then over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then over. So you notice for the most part, all of the coils are pretty much the exact same uh, distance around. Um, then once you're done, you want to go ahead and secure your coil with a rip tie. Hopefully you have a rip tie on the end of your cable that you can allow to do that. If not, you want to take a piece of tape and kind of wrap it around the coil uh, just to kind of keep it secure. If you do use a piece of tape, when you go all the way around it and then put it back to itself, do everybody a favor and put a little courtesy tap on the end of that tape there so it's easy just to kind of pull up as opposed to struggling to kind of get the tape off. So to uh, run our cable out now, we, we pick up our coil, undo the rip tie, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to grab the one end that's on the outside, just drop the rest of the cable. Now I'm free to actually walk this cable to wherever I need it to go, um, or I can actually throw it if I need to as well, and it should throw pretty much untangled. So again, to kind of repeat the process of coiling, uh, with the end in my hand, I'm going to make a coil, okay, with the tail on the outside. Then I'm going to flip it underneath itself. Again, keeping the coil the same uh, distance around or the same size. The, the tail is now on the inside. Making another coil underneath, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then over. And then we'll go ahead and secure the cable again with the rip tie. So I hope this helps anybody out. Um, if you have any questions, um, or just uh, drop me a line.